Hello everyone, I am Jadeep Singh Chahal. So today we've got something very, very interesting. What might look like a regular uh, first generation Pajero known as the, what all of us know as the Pajero GLX. Uh, it is not quite so. This is a very different vehicle. Uh, you might be trying to figure out from the color scheme. It's, it doesn't have the regular uh, uh, two-tone uh, Pajero which used to be uh, uh, white hair and a whole mix of red, yellow, purple, uh, bottle green, uh, a whole bunch of uh, vibrant colors. This vehicle actually is a 2002 model Pajero GL. It's not a GLX, it's a GL. Uh, it belongs to a friend of mine. It's been in their family uh, from day one. They bought it brand new. At that time, uh, what he tells me, uh, it costed around, uh, it was 19 and a half lakhs ex showroom. And at that point of time, uh, Mitsubishi uh, uh, brought in two different variants of Pajero. This is the Pajero GL or the base variant. And uh, I think the GLX, from what he tells me, was around 23-ish lakhs. So around an extra three and a half lakhs. And that was uh, marketed as the sports variant. Later on... Uh, just the GLX picked up and that was the only vehicle or the model variant to be made available by Mitsumishi and Hindustan Motors in India. This one got discontinued very, very soon. So that kind of makes it, uh, in spite of the lack of a few features, it makes it very, very rare. This vehicle has a 000, uh, 76 chassis number, which, uh, uh, you know, which clearly tells us that this is very, very first of the lot. Uh, this is the 76th Pajero to be manufactured uh, or assembled. We are not very sure about that uh, in India. The the plate, the wind plate, it says Mitsubishi Motor Corporation, Hindustan Motors, Chennai, India. So this is an Indian vehicle. Uh, the main differences are very, very uh, peculiar. The color is single. There's no Pajero branding on the side like we used to get on the GLX. Also, this one never came with uh, the leather seats. So this one had, I'll, I'll show you. This one had, if you can look inside, it came with these fabric seats and fabric headrests. The other uh, rest of the seats, they've been covered with uh, uh, leather seat covers. It's so not visible, but that is a clear differentiating factor because uh, the GLX that was sold in India, it used to come with these uh, uh, leather headrests, which had uh, the exact same uh, body color uh, leather on the headrest as well. Uh, coming around the rear, it has the same uh, recovery point U bolt on in the back. And this one is pretty much stock with just a different set of tires. It's running 275, 16 uh, Geolanders on aftermarket wheels. Decent set of tires, but uh, I'll tell you that this vehicle has been uh, parked and in storage for almost six years while my friend was away. So we've just pulled it out uh, once we found out that he's got such a beautiful vehicle in the family. So we pulled it out of the storage. Um, we had uh, mice rest nests everywhere in the vehicle. So it's come out of hibernation and now we're, we're trying to get it running. Japanese vehicles, as you know, no big issues, a new battery, uh, drained out the old fuel, all new filters and fluids, and it was up and running. The AC was, uh, it had corroded very badly. So we replaced the unit, uh, the condenser and uh, the compressor was rebuilt. But otherwise, it's running flawless. Uh, even the door handles, if you see, these uh, on the GLX used to come in a chrome finish. This is all black, there's no chrome, so apparently that upmarket feel that they say is not there. Same with your wing mirrors, they don't have a chrome uh, finish. Uh, enough of cosmetics, now we'll come to the main bit. Uh, this, what do you see? This we've already discussed, I think, in uh, another video, if I'm not wrong. This is a freewheeling hub uh, by the Japanese brand Aisen. You'll see that on a lot of Japanese vehicles. Aisen, even till date, is famous for making uh, a lot of mechanical components, uh, highly engineered components, I would say. Even in your modern day uh, SUVs, the uh, Japanese SUVs, the ABS unit will always be, 90% will be an Aisen unit. 
hubs even the first generation gypsy that we got in india that used to come within uh, with icin hubs so these are free wheeling hubs that have to be engaged from outside so it has an engage disengage or an on off option so normally the vehicle is running with only the rear two tires um, active and the front shafts are also disconnected so the wheels are rolling free hence the name free wheeling hubs so these give you a lighter steering wheel and apparently a better fuel economy but what it actually also adds to is uh, <clears throat> is that uh, the wear and tear in the uh, in the front uh, 4x4 mechanism is lower because you only use the front shafts when you need them but the only downside to free wheeling hubs is even though these are more reliable i would say but uh, every time you need to use the 4x4 you will have to get out of the vehicle turn it into engage or on mode and only then it will work other stuff is pretty much similar to what we see in the regular uh, glx again no chrome in the bumpers the zero used to be famous for chrome so there's a lot of cost cutting going on i'll also show you uh, another uh, very interesting thing let's come around in the interior and uh, so the interior looks very similar to what we see in the glx otherwise but there's no airbags even though the first generation glx didn't come with any airbags uh, nor do we see the clino cluster and the the one that you know uh, gives you the air pressure and the altitude as well but the other major major difference is if you look at this lever right there this is the 4x4 lever normally the the glx would come with the, currently it's in 2h that's two wheel mode four high and neutral and four low so the glx will will say four llc or the sfx will say four llc that is the four low locked uh, pajeros they've always as we thought this this clearly changes it pajeros always used to come with a central diff lock this one does not that's you can say that a part of cost cutting you can say that as a, um, as a base model option i would say it it, it came with the basic 4x4 uh, no central diff lock and you have to go out spin your uh, hub locks or your free wheel hubs and only then the 4x4 engages otherwise everything else is pretty basic uh, you'll find ashtrays all over in the vehicle the instrument cluster is pretty much the same and even uh, if you see the switches uh, the switches are uh, regular gray plastic otherwise in the pajero you will see a very uh, dark wooden finish so that is not available in this one again as a base model cost uh, cost cutting measure i would say uh, other than that in the front if you see uh the indicators are exactly the same as they used to come on the uh, this intercooler badge was put afterwards um, still justified this has an intercooler so <laughs> that that is okay the turn signals i always used to love the glx turn signals those are exactly the same as the one on the glx again and other major differences i don't really see uh, a lot of other major differences the power plant is exactly the same this is a 4m40 the 2800 cc close to 118 horsepower turbocharged intercooled unit uh this is the engine that gave way to my favorite the 4m41 that is the 3200 on my uh pajero sport so uh, i think that's about it this one is a very very clean vehicle for the age uh this pajero right here is close to uh 23 no 21 years old now uh, all the headlamps it's got koito headlamps koito japan turn signals uh, imasen uh, tail lamps so everything is as it came from the factory it's just aged but it's aged beautifully it smells bad though but the, the camera can't record that but now uh, we, we we are working on that and it should be okay once the carpets and all we've got them dry cleaned nicely but uh, again uh, the main reason this is why i love japanese vehicles uh, a change of filters oils basic fluids some rubber parts belts and it is running as good as new 
as if there was there, there, there's never been any issue with the vehicle and it's still good to serve you for another 10 15 years provided the maintenance stays up so that's about it if you've got any other questions or queries do let me know thank you